Okay. Now, while I do make some videos on the fly, I've actually thought about this one for a week. And uh, I've said before, and it's not my opinion, it's just a damn fact. Like the X-T2, for example. High ISO performance? Ah, not so wonderful. Not so super wonderful. I don't care what sort of Fuji fan you are. You know, Nikon will smoke the X-T2 and high ISO performance. No big deal. Um, same thing with XQD cards. I mean, wham. Just hold down that shutter release and just rip them off until the card's full. Or basically so. X-T2 does not have that. Hardcore serious glass, huge prime lenses, uh, old, of course you can stick converted lenses on this all day long. Obviously they're not autofocus in that case. So here we have, and of course there's no perfect camera. Here we have, I can't call them deficiencies, but they, relative to the D500 and uh, other cameras, and of course the soon to be released uh, full frame Nikon D850 or D820, whichever one is going to be called, that's a deficiency against that. So. However, autofocus tracking on sports and action on this is perfectly fine. I did recently review the Sony A9, and uh, it will autofocus tracking not on all modes, but in half of them. I mean, squirrels on crack, absolutely amazing. But the camera has a hardcore deficiencies. I'm never going to buy that camera. I said I'd like to have one. $4,500, hell no. Hold on, I'm getting to the point of this video. $4,500, hell no. And the camera's got no ecosystem. Sony does not repair their own cameras. That is not... Nothing has changed. I mean, I was kind of shocked on a few things on the Sony A9, but I was, you know, abysmally disgusted at the ergonomics, the horrible price tag, the fact that it has no glass. Um, it was... And I spelled all that out in the video on the A9 review. I said I'd like to have one for a very limited spectrum of use for outdoor hardcore autofocus tracking for like events and stuff like I could have used it today it would have been perfect for the horse jumping it would have been super 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 fast however I had no issues with the X-T2 today anyway let me get to the point of this video <laughs> I have thought barely uh, basically a week on uh, making this statement that since I've owned every Nikon digital camera made and the D3 is legendary, and I named the uh, Fuji X-T2 a legendary camera as well. Same thing with the Nikon at D500 and basically the old D700. However, not really. D700 is basically a Nikon D3 Lite. Yes, I'm getting to the point of this video that I can actually say with no equivocation that at this point, until something else super magical is released, that the X-T2 is the single best all-purpose, and I had to be very selective in using those words, all-purpose camera that has ever come along. And I, you know, I, just, I didn't think, okay, let's, let's be really specific here. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody has their hand up my fanny to say one thing or another. Okay, I don't say this lightly, and I just didn't think, oh, I'm going to make a video about this, and let's hit the record button. No, I thought about this week, because this is important to make that statement, that the best all-purpose camera that has ever come down the pike is the Fuji X-T2. Period. All purpose, I said. The firmware updates, the incredible build quality, the Japanese uh, precision and attention to detail, absolutely incredible. The EVF is, is enormous. It's, I've made countless videos on the X-T2. Um, so I say this with no reservations, having thought about it for nearly a week, at least five days. Seems like a week, but I lost my soft shutter release button today, damn it. It was a Fuji one that Fuji doesn't make anymore. I lost it out at the horse park, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Those things are so easy to lose. Um, that's only the second one I've ever lost. I was out shooting for like six hours today. That the best all-purpose camera period that's ever come down the pike up to this point in time, June 2017, is the X-T2, period. Best all-purpose camera. Um, there are six categories. I named it in a prior video about a month ago. You know, sports action, wildlife, event photography, uh, club photography, um, portraiture, landscape. There are all these arenas. Obviously, this is not the best camera for landscape nor for portraiture because it's a DX crop sensor camera. Um, for hardcore wildlife, I mean, Canon and Nikon has the huge-ass glass that Fuji does not have. Okay? So those are 
Narrow spectrum. Let's like, okay, what's the best for hardcore sports action wildlife? Okay, Nikon D500 and a big prime or the 200 to 500. What's the best for uh, portraiture? Fujifilm GFX, a very expensive camera, which also have no coat. So those are the best for that. So when I say all purpose, I mean all around. A jack of all trades. The Swiss Army knife of cameras. Even that's kind of an insult because the Swiss Army knife has all these little gadgets in it and. You know, it's wonderful. I love my Swiss Army. It's the most useful tool I've ever owned. I use it every day, almost basically. Basically, I do. It's always sitting around my bed. I'm always using a damn Swiss Army knife. But obviously, the knife on it isn't super awesome. And you know, it isn't the best knife. It isn't the best corkscrew. But uh, my God, I mean, I use it every day, and I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't be without it. Uh, so that's kind of an insult. So I should not really be comparing this to the uh, Swiss Army knife. <laughs> If the Swiss Army knife had a real serious pull-out blade, a real serious corkscrew, you know, it's the X-T2, you know, human beings are not getting faster, nor are horses. We can't run any faster, and animals are not getting any faster. The autofocus tracking speed and acquisition on the X-T2 with the appropriate lens is perfectly adequate on a scale of 1 to 10. It's like an 8.9, whereas like the A9 Sony, for example, autofocus tracking in a few arenas, wide area autofocus track, you know, it's upwards of like a 9.2. It's incredible. But I would never buy the thing. It has poor value. It's made in Thailand. They don't support it. They're going to obsolete it nine months later. The mechanical shutter on it is abysmal. Laggy and only five frames per second. So, you know, the camera is, as an all-purpose camera, it's, it's horrible. I, I even said in the review, even though I'd like to have the camera for narrow spectrum of use, you know, it only gets... I only gave it like a, a 3 out of 10 for value. It's just a horrible value camera. So, this is the video I wanted to make. Uh, I thought before, you know, this is important. Is there any other camera that has come up to this point that I've either owned or do own? And the answer is no. So, I say with zero reservation and enormous forethought that the X-T2 is the best all-purpose camera, period. You can disagree, that's fine, whatever makes you happy, you know? Doesn't matter what I say, someone's going to get upset. If I just made videos about how much I love cute fuzzy bunny rabbits, it'd be like all sorts of downvotes. People, I hate you because you like cute fuzzy bunny rabbits. Screw you! <laughs> People love to hate stuff, you know? I love to hate you. I just watched your video because I hate you. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that just like watch to hate. I hate him, I'm going to watch this so I can downvote it. So someone's going to hate this video, probably more than someone. But I don't care because nobody's paying me to say this and I get no kickbacks for however many XT2s are sold or not sold. <sighs> if, however, you do like this video, you could always drop me a buck or two. I'm certainly not getting rich doing this. That's for damn sure. <laughs> God, I'm not. Really not. You don't see me making any videos in Iceland or Switzerland, do you? Because if I had money, I'd have a newer car. I'd never buy a new car because I could never afford it. And I would be like making videos in Europe somewhere, or Australia, New Zealand, Iceland. All the places I would love to go but never will get to because I don't have the money. So if you like this video and drop me a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. I eventually reached the crux of this video. I hope you like it. You probably won't. I hate you. It took you. Someone's going to go, I hate you. It took you 20 minutes to say one thing. I hate you. Good. I hope that hate keeps you warm at night. <laughs> Goodbye.